Now, what I want to talk to you about here, just uh, as a producer from producer to producer, okay? I, for when I first started producing, uh, my first uh, professional piece of equipment was the Yamaha Motif. I actually had the Motif ES, the ES8. Um, thing cost me $3,500, okay? Um, when I purchased that, that was just one piece of my setup because no matter how nice of the beats I made or whatever, at the end of the day, I was sequencing in a keyboard. So in order to get beats to clientele, I either would have to do studio time or I ended up purchasing on all my own equipment in order to track beats up. So two things that happened was I ended up spending more money and then I had more stuff to learn. With this, you basically commit yourself to learning one thing and that's your product. So let's just, let's just do a quick breakdown. I spent $3,500 on a Yamaha Motif. I bought my first Pro Tools set up at $300. I bought a computer that I had specs to run all this so this is like a $1,200 computer that had those type of specs. So right there we're looking at $5,000 easy. Once I started wanting to expand my sounds, because one thing the Motif didn't give me was just a whole lot of hardcore hitting drums, I ended up purchasing Reason. When I bought Reason, that was another $500 investment, including expansion kits. So now we're looking at $5,500. We're basically at $5,000 plus and I haven't even sold a beat yet or even leased one for free to a buddy basically nobody's heard any of my work and I've spent five thousand dollars as a producer and this was thirteen years ago so five thousand dollars is you know it, this is uh... this this was serious money and uh... I, I, this is this was my startup now these are all great pieces of equipment but we're talking about fifty five hundred dollars spent I haven't sold a beat I haven't did anything this unit here is nine ninety nine two gigahertz processor, dual core, four gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive, 61 synth action keys, eight endless rotors, nine faders, one of them master, you know, the other eight bankable, like, and then it's all programmable. So if you don't want to use yours how I was using mine, if you want your faders to control something else, well, you can do that. If you want it to work your plugins, you can do that as well. So that's then that's like I said from producer to producer that's just that shows you where the game is now and where you can be as a producer because one thing that hasn't changed is people are still spending money on productions the producers are still making it and making viable livings off of doing this so the uh, we're talking about like basically you're spending a fifth of the cost that got started you can sit down play with this learn very little about it make a beat and do something serious in about two weeks of your life if you choose to or it can just be a hobby because keep in mind now I purchased this I had friends who did music as a hobby and they had similar setups to mine or if not more or they were purchasing and then hey you want to hear a beat I made well you got to bring it into the studio you're spending a hundred dollars on four hours of production time and if you decide you want to come back and edit it now you got to pay the engineer or the producer to get back in his studio. So you're talking about a tool that really allows you to hone your craft and you don't have to invest as much. You're investing more time than money because really that's how music should be. It's more about what you create. It's more about what you're doing. Not so much having to have, you know, $7,000 to spend just to get started because one, either A, everybody doesn't have it, or B, I have it, but why do I want to spend 7000 on that when you can purchase this for 1000 And if you spend any other money, it's just on expansion tools, not all that just to get started. So, like I said, that's just a serious note from one producer to another producer because that's, like, that's, that's a major benefit. So, this is what I need you to do. Uh, go to the website, musiccomputing.com, start looking at it. These specs are great, but if you just know you need more, they're more customizable. So you can add more RAM, you can get a bigger processor, you can add a second hard drive if you choose. But check us out on Music Computing. This is definitely the tool for you if you're just getting started or if you really need a serious piece of gear, this is the route to go. We also have carrying cases for them. That way if you're a musician on the move, you can take it with you, have your setup right there with you. It's $9.99 music computing. It's your boy G. Ladares. I need you to stay checking for us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'm out. Peace.